What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on episode 3 of the 2007 Mazda Speed 3 build. We are going to be actually pulling off the headlights and getting them taken off and sending them over to my buddy to have them polished up. They are severely oxidized and we're going to see if we can possibly try to save these things. If not, we're going to be stuck buying a brand new set. But I have a real good friend of mine who's pretty dang good body guy and he thinks he can save them. So we're going to be getting this camera turned around, getting the car set up, and then we're going to start pulling these headlights off. And fingers crossed, this is going to be an easy process. It looks like it's going to be fairly simple. Uh, should be a fun, short little video. All right, guys, so here's the car. Obviously, in the last video, here's the new wheels and tires. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll make sure I put a link down in the description. You can go check that out. This is the brand new ESRs, AP6s. They are super cool. I um, absolutely love them so far. I'm really happy with them. But here's a quick little thing. Uh, if you're new here, like I said, we're doing a complete build series on this car. We're going to be getting it set up for a rally I'm going to be doing in September to tell the Dragon. And then also we're getting this car set up for Time Attack Racing. So we've slowly just been knocking stuff out as we go. So far it's coming out really well. If you're new here, make sure if you're into this stuff, you know, give it a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it as we're growing the channel. Like I said, this is her 2007 Mazda Speed 3. But again, going back to the main focus of today is we are going to be pulling these headlights. These headlights are super oxidized and I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to save them. I have a good buddy of mine who is a pretty dang good body guy and he told me to pop them off, bring them to him and he's going to see if he can work his magic on them. So me and my son Paxton, we're going to be pulling these off today and see what we can do. You ready for this, buddy? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for the video. There you go. Thanks for subscribing if you do. There you go. We greatly appreciate any of the support. Here's this headlight. Like I said, they're bad. I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to save these or if he's going to be able to save them. And then here's the other one. I don't know if you guys can tell just how dirty they are, but it's... It's pretty bad. So. Pull right here, and then grab the latch. Right there's a little latch right here. You see that? Yeah. You pull it towards me. Push towards me. There you go. Nice job. Pull that up. So, I've never pulled the headlights off this car before. It looks like it's going to be fairly simple. It looks like we need to go ahead, get that bolt right there. Hopefully you guys can see. There you go. Clear. And then also, we have this one right here. And then probably I'm thinking this right here as well. So, should be fairly simple. Hopefully. Famous last words, because there's never an easy job when it comes to working on a car, it seems. Okay. I'm going to grab the camera. Oh. <laughs> that, that ain't good. We're ready. All right, pull it out. So we're going to be pulling this first screw. Start them young, guys. Start them young. Doesn't look like it's moving. Here. You hold this? Alright guys, here's the current update. We got the driver's side one out. This is much more extensive than what I originally thought. But once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. But we got that one out. So now we're going to be tackling the passenger side, get it all pulled out, and then hopefully get these ready to drop off to my friend tomorrow. And then hopefully by the beginning of the week, we'll have new shiny headlights. Here's the one that we pulled out already. And like I said, I mean, they're, they're really, really oxidized. But yeah, like I said, that's where we're at on that one. And then we'll start tackling the next one. Paxton's been helping me. He actually found the hidden bolt that... I couldn't find to get that one out. Okay, so if you ever have to do this, just a heads up, 
you have these two bolts right here. You have this bolt and this bolt. And then you have one more that's hidden all the way back in there. Can you, can you clear it? Can you touch it? Yeah, right, right in there. So like I said, we should, after we pop these last three out, that should be it. And then this should be ready to pop out. one is right back in there. So to remove your bulbs, you're just going to turn these and they should come right out pretty easy. Same on this one. There's those. And then on this, these are your pinch points. You're just going to pull and unplug. And then voila. All right, guys. So that's it. We got the headlights out. We've got everything pulled apart. We're going to take these to my friend tomorrow. We're gonna go ahead, tighten this back up some so we can move the car back in position so I can pull my truck back in here. But like I said, there's the lights, got those all out. So hopefully next time you guys see these, they'll be bright and shiny and clear. <laughs> So, if you remember what they look like before, this is what they look like now. He did a phenomenal job. So, obviously, we did not shoot clear on them. So, they very well might oxidize back over time. But, for what they were to what they turned out like, I mean, super clear. He did a phenomenal job. I'm really happy with them. I mean, they were really, really fogged up and really oxidized when we pulled them out. So just the after product is crazy. back in that I forgot to plug the bolts up. So we're going to see if we can snaggle these in here. Otherwise, I got to pull them back out, hook them up to the bulbs, and then bolt them back in. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We are dirty.
almost done. I think I've sweated like 30 pounds off so far. So that's great. It's almost done. Thank God, because it is really hot. days of messing with this. Here it is. Way better. Like look at how much more clear that is. I say I mean those things were so foggy. Next up we're gonna wash the car. I know, I know, I know. I keep saying it, but I promise we're gonna do it. But that helped so much. I mean so much better. Anyways guys, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Cool little video, like I said, definitely needed to be done. And uh, we have the rally coming up for Tell the Dragon in September, so I definitely need to make sure we had good headlights and clarity and all that good stuff. If they do start to oxidize again before we go in September, we'll go ahead and just buy a new set. But again, it was just a cheap little fix to see if we could save them or not. But if you're new here, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, drop a subscribe to the channel. It definitely helped me. We're almost to 500, trying to break that threshold. And then after that, we're on to 1,000. I'm going to go shower. I'm disgusting. But as always, stay hungry, feed on success. We'll see you guys next time.